Hi guys, welcome to art class today. I'm excited to make art with you from my home to yours. Now, Zadie's taking a nap today and I thought, well, while she's napping, we would get in a quick self-portrait drawing. Now, we're not gonna draw a picture of our self-portrait like we normally think would think of. We're gonna draw a picture of ourselves as a tree. And you might think, why? Why would we draw ourselves as a tree? Well, self-portraits can represent who we are. They don't always have to be a picture of exactly who we are. And trees, my friends, are resilient. Resilient means that you are able to withstand or recover quickly from difficult conditions. And I have been overwhelmed with our resiliency lately and how we are bending and stretching and being flexible with learning from home. We are resilient. So let's get started. Now, your picture of you as a tree can be any type of tree that you'd like. We're gonna use some basic markers today that you just saw. And I'm actually borrowing some of Zadie's little Cento watercolor markers. And then I'm using a few Crayola markers from my own personal art stash. The first thing I'm gonna do is start a few inches up from the bottom of the paper and I'm going to draw a line that curves in and up, and this is the trunk of my tree. And you can see down here the roots of the tree. So then I'm gonna connect this side with the other side over here. So we've got the roots and the trunk. Now, a lot of times people describe the top of a tree as a Y shape. If you think about drawing a Y shape, then it kind of looks like the letter Y and you have two big branches reaching up. Okay, so now I'm gonna use some lines. I'm gonna use the broad side of my marker and I'm gonna create the texture of the tree bark. Your tree might be a rainbow color tree. It might be a tree that has a different type of bark. You can totally decide what type of tree you want to be. And I look forward to seeing all of your different examples. If you are drawing with a marker and your marker starts to run out of ink, you know what you can do? Dip it in the water. Here's Mr. Water hanging out with us today. And I'm gonna take Mr. Water and I'm just gonna dip my marker just for a second really quick in there. And that is going to wet the tip of my marker. And because it is a watercolor marker, it will help it draw smoothly. So that can be a really cool technique that you can have fun trying. You can also, if you want to, switch up your colors. I really like the way that this is looking, so I'm gonna stick with what I've got. And it's drying out a little bit, so I'm gonna use that method and dip it in the water. When I get to the edges that are smaller, I use the tip of the marker. There we go. And I actually think the fact that this marker is running out of ink gives it a really cool texture look. I'm gonna have to get Zadie a new marker. It's a good thing tomorrow's her birthday. I can just put that on her birthday gift list. All right. So there we go. Now, I'm gonna use a different color brown and I'm gonna draw some knots on my tree to add to design and pattern and another thing that I think I'm gonna do for my tree 
is add a few smaller branches that come off of the larger branches. There we go. All right, now I'm ready to start adding some leaves to my tree. So I am going to get a few different colors of green. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start filling in all this space with some leaf shapes. And I'm not worried about any of these being perfect. I just wanna fill in the space. I'm gonna use more than one color green when I do this. Now, I, as I'm doing this, I'm thinking, wow, what if I did a rainbow color tree and started with one color and ended with the other color over here? How cool would that be? I bet you all have all sorts of ideas. If I wanted to, I might make this a little home for an animal in my tree or use a little nook like that to make a nest in my tree. I am definitely going to be putting a swing in my tree because in our yard, we have a tree like this that has a swing. In fact, I'll be sure to post a picture of it. And that's where I go outside and take Sadie to swing and play. And it's a support for her and a place that she has fun. She loves that tree. And I certainly love her. So here we go. I'm liking the way my tree is filling in with all those beautiful leaves. If you look outside in your yard, I bet you see some trees that are starting to bud and you're starting to see some little flowers that are gonna bloom on there. Now I'm gonna take my paintbrush and I'm gonna wet my paintbrush and then I'm just gonna brush some water over my leaves that I just drew on there. And it's just gonna fill in that space So if you look, you can see how it's really, um, what happens is the watercolor marker bleeds and it kind of fills in that space. So I think that's a really fun technique. Now you can draw directly on the wet marker and I'm gonna switch colors. I'm gonna use a different green. Let's see, oh, look at this one. It looks like Zadie worked really hard to hit that and knock it on there, on the end. That is why when we say, don't slam down your markers, that right there's why, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, let's switch it for this Crayola marker. So I'm gonna go back in now with my Crayola marker and I'm gonna draw some more leaves with different colors. Just here and there to add some layered texture and color to my tree. All right, and now the part that I was telling you guys about that I definitely was gonna do, I am going to take a black marker and I am going to draw Zadie's swing hanging from the tree. It's one of those little bucket swings. So 
it looks like that. And it's dark green. So I'll just fill it in with green. And there's Zadie's little swing. And my tree. Now you can decide anything else you want to add onto your tree. You can keep adding more leaves. You can add some flowers. You'll notice that if it's really wet, the paper, then when you draw, your marker will kind of glide on there. And sometimes if you have a little puddle, the color will start to spread out a little bit. All right, boys and girls, this is my self-portrait of me as a tree. I am going to add some grass here at the bottom because my tree is growing in that grass in my yard. And I'm just going to do that with some ziggy zaggy lines. And there you have it. I'll probably keep going and fill this part in. And I even think I might want to go back in and take my brush and smooth out some of this color a little bit like I did down here. And maybe I'll even add a few flowers growing up in the yard. I hope that you have fun drawing yourself as a tree and please be sure to email me some pictures of what you create. Thanks so much for joining me today from my home to yours. Bye guys.